So this is our presentation on Afghan artist Sarah Armani for the Peoples of the Arts Project. I am Valeria Martinez. I'm Cynthia Armenta. And I am Claudia Blue. Okay, so about Sarah Armani, she is an she is a painter. She is 23 years old, living in San Diego. She came to the U.S. in 2017 from Afghanistan with her family when she was 17 years old, before the Taliban took over Afghanistan. She began painting at the age of 15 and attended two months of art school in Kab Kabul and had to stop attending to focus on going to school on becoming a civil engineer. Her goal is to create art that represents Afghanistan in a positive light through her art. These are her social media and these are her ads where you can find her on Instagram and TikTok. She's gone viral on both showing her art and expressing her culture. Um, she has also done several interviews like with CNN and other media outlets. This is her Instagram page here to the left and in the middle and on the right are her TikTok pages. As you can see, she has a lot of different videos and pictures of her artwork. And, um, and here specifically on her Instagram, you can find a link to her interview with CNN. And here is a video of her artwork. I guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. You search forever, now I drive past your street. Here's another video from her TikTok. Okay, and the significant artwork that we chose was this piece. It actually doesn't have a name. Um, it is in a, it's made from acrylic paint on paper. She posted it on her Instagram page first uh, to publish it. And I'm gonna read her caption from her Instagram page. It says, I always wanted to show the best pictures of my country through my artworks, but today nothing left us. We went back 20 years ago. Dear Afghanistan, on behalf of the world, I'm sorry for the world's silence. So that was her caption for this artwork without and didn't give it a name. Um, here in the color in the middle of the painting, um, that is her way of showing her heritage and including uh, the beauty of her country and culture. She includes two women in the bottom uh, in the colors of the Afghan flag. The little girl, she says specifically that her hands are dirty from playing outside with kids. Um, and then all the, the things that surround her, all the dark gray areas are what is currently happening in Afghanistan. Um, specifically, she drew the airplane and people falling out of the airplane of that situation that actually occurred that was on the news, it was very horrific. And um, she says that in the bottom right corner, there's people waiting at the gate with their paperwork to be accepted by soldiers to travel, to flee or escape the country. Specifically here, the man holding a baby up to the soldier is, to, she says that signifies like they're hoping for their next generation to continue and to leave the country.
This is more of her artwork. Um, she mainly focuses on women empowerment of her culture and painting women. So expression of um, heritage. So as we saw um, on the previous painting, Romani incorporated colors of um, Afghanistan's national flag. Uh, the two women that um, were dressed, they were dressed wearing traditional Afghan dresses, along with braids and jewelry, um, as shown of her country's culture. One of the women is was performing a traditional dance, often performed at special events, such as weddings, while the other woman is writing peace and Farsi, using the black part of the, the Afghan flag. Romani's expression of value is represented in her art will, artwork uh, where she feels it's a statement to the strength and resilience of Afghan women and her hope that she has for her country, as well as her art representing the way she feels about the power of women and her support of women in Afghanistan. She feels her art represents the struggles of her homeland and how she has the ability to inform the world about those struggles. In Romani's achievement through her artwork, she aims to show the beautiful side of, Asca of As Afghanistan, uh, her country that's rich with culture and traditions because she doesn't want the world to know that it's a country of war. She feels she has a responsibility to show that Afghanistan has more to offer than just, you know, war and the Taliban. And she, needs, she wants to bring awareness to the beauty and traditions of her country. So for um, a cultural perspective, so Romani's work is reminiscent to some of the issues that Latinx immigrants face historically. Her artwork is similar to an exhibit by a duo named Blaca Lulocos called Oaxaca, California, where they show the presence of Oaxacan people in Los Angeles and their struggles in their community. This painting shows a border in the background and a man holding a ship. The ship signifies a symbol of colonization. The tattoo on his arm says Tlaco Lula, which is the hometown of Oaxaca, Mexico, where the artists are from. The LA in the tattoo ties both communities together. Romani and the Tlaco locals both speak out about issues concerning their hometowns while living in the US. I connect with Romani's art because people in my family and community had to seek refuge in the US and wish to keep their cultural identity. I think that Romani and the Tlacolocos want to tell people that it's important to keep their heritage when they are in this place. Um, the picture on the left um, is from the Mola Museum. You could see their, um, um, you could see their exhibit online. Um, it's on their website right now, if you want to take a look. And for the art integration of uh, different ways that we can incorporate Sarah's art um, through multiculturalism. If one day we have a specific day for multiculturalism, we can sh showcase Sarah's artwork um, to talk about the Afghanistan culture. Um, to begin with, we had originally thought of um, choosing an Afghanistan, an Afghan artists because we know the situations that is happening right now in Afghanistan and people are fleeing the country and coming over to the United States. So we thought it would be important for us to like think about um, ways that we can educate students on Afghan culture and what is uh, going on. And just so if we do ever have kids from that come from there, they don't feel left out. Another way to incorporate Sarah's art is through literacy or current events so we can teach about current situations that are happening in Afghanistan and relate them to 
values, ethnics, and talk about their culture in general. And thank you for watching. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Okay. <laughs> How was our time on there? We're at 10. Oh, perfect. Like